how did you actually merge your, you know, your character mm. into into the Glow's character? I know yeah. that you just, I think, some resemblance right, into right. your own characters. I think Rhonda's freer than me in that she really doesn't even. She's not aware of um, certain things, and that's that was really cool to play. I think that I kind of overthink everything and overanalyze everything and have a lot of anxiety. And I think Rhonda's like, she's just kind of living, and that was really cool. Um, and she is so confident that it had a very positive effect on me because I think, you know, I'm definitely um, a preacher of like empowerment and like loving oneself. But I think it's harder to practice what you preach. And so I found like she had a very positive influence on me too. And I liked Rhonda so much. I think it was it made me softer on myself and kind of like myself more too. One day you're playing the guitar, the next day you're wrestling with a bunch of women. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I'm hoping to merge the two. So next time I go on tour, maybe I'll be able to like get some wrestling in there as well. Oh yeah, you better bring another wrestler. Yeah, exactly. Well, my drummer could get handled. Oh it. good. Or um, or maybe like a wrestling music video. Sure. Yeah. And you play a you know a director who you know used to direct B movies. Mm -hmm. You play a character with with the you know the comedy side, but with a dark side as well. Do you kind of get get it from from your experience as a comedian? Oh. Well, yeah, I just played him pretty straight, you know. Uh, I, I don't, like, I wasn't really playing the comedy because I thought he was so kind of uh, uh, down and out that his confidence, despite the fact that, you know, all indicators were uh, he's washed up, uh, was a natural comic sort of disposition. So I wasn't really playing for the comedy as much as I was just trying to be Sam because I knew that he mm -hmm. would read comedically without yeah. me working too hard on that. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. you're very different than the woman on right. stage. Right, well, he's and like, you uh, kind of, well, the contrast, yeah. Yeah, the really contrast funny. and like, and you kind of also kind of portrays a, a different side of 80s. Right, like he's sort of stuck in the 70s a little, you, yeah. you know, because his heroes are like Brian De Palma and Spielberg mm -hmm. and those kind of, that crew of directors. Yeah. And he's sort of like, kind of uh, has a sort of rugged integrity about film that he thinks he's, you know, a, a genius. Yeah. But I, I like that, you know, I made very specific decisions about how he did coke, you know, which glasses yeah. he would wear. I made them let me wear those pants for every episode. I had black cowboy boots. Like I saw him as a guy who was committed to, you know, the way he lives uh, by default because yeah. he, he didn't know any other way. Mm. And I think he kept it pretty simple because he was sort of, uh, uh, he, you know, his life was pretty small. Yeah. So, but yeah, the contrast is definitely there. Every cast member has yeah. related to the feeling of being an outsider and a misfit and not quite fitting into our own, like, niche um, and industry. But we've, we've all managed to, like, carve out a way of doing it. And I mm -hmm. think that that's what was so relatable for all of us on this journey is that it was just so meta. So many times I was like, this is real life. This is like actually <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. happening. Yeah.